Brigadier General Michelle Johnson. She's a Director of Strategy, Policy, Programs, and Logistics for U.S. Transportation Command, the folks who manage all that stuff that moves around that's not connected to the Internet and has to be at the right place at the right time. So please join me in welcoming the Brigadier General. Good morning. Thanks very much for accepting a substitute, but uh, I'm really thrilled to be here. This is uh, fantastic. I seldom get to be in sessions where they warm up music with samba. That's great. This is terrific. And as, as Mark said, we have many things that are mobile, aren't connected, and aren't plugged in that we try to keep track of. And I'm really thrilled to have a chance to have a team that's helping champion this for DOD, because it's not an easy thing for a big organization to adopt, is it? And I think for all of us in the different uh, sectors. We see that we have to be able to organize and, and employ this technology and find ways to do it that can help ourselves. So I'm aided in this uh, with a tremendous staff. And out, out in the crowd, out in the darkness, behind the bright lights is uh, Dave Dias uh, from my staff and then Kathy Snurius and uh, Kathy Smith from OSD. Kathy, it's good to see you again. And uh, with the support of the services who have to do the funding, frankly, and that's what's interesting in our enterprise is that Things are funded in a distorted way, but the, the services have that responsibility. So we have to convince them that this is a good idea. And, uh, and the services have been tremendous, the Army, the Navy, and the Air Force. And, uh, of course, DLA and Mark Lieberman's out there and has great presentations. I hope you'll, you'll sit in on it. Ask him the really hard questions because he's great at that. And uh, we have partners across government, GSA and other people who move a lot of things around. They're tremendous. So this morning, I hope that I can uh, whet your appetite, be of some... Uh, informative nature to you to let you know what's, what's going on in DOD, but also uh, maybe for the vendors, give you some ideas and uh, some touch points where we can help each other and move forward on this and this evolution, if we could. So, um, this, is, this is kind of a DOD slide, isn't it? You got arrows and circles going on here. This is great. Let me just tell you a little bit about Transportation Command, in case you don't know. Um, it's one of the, the ten combatant commands uh, in DOD. And we're a functional command. That means we don't have a geographic territory. We're responsible globally to uh, support, always to support the geographic commands. And as you can imagine, uh, United States Central Command uh, gets a lot of our attention these days because of the activities in Iraq and Afghanistan. But uh, when Haiti suffered the earthquake recently, of course, uh, Southcom down in Miami became a tremendous central focus. And frankly, Northcom, Northern Command, and Transcom rallied around uh, Southcom to help in that disaster, and actually with some IT lessons uh, from from that uh, event as well as we go along. And the work we do in the interagency, because we can't do any of this alone. We work uh, across the interagency with the Department of State, USAID, World Food Program, uh, whether it's on land or sea. And in our efforts to, to transport DOD cargo products, people uh, around the globe, one of our partners, well, a big block of our partners are in the commercial industry. The Commercial Reserve Air Fleet has most of our airlift capability, actually. There are only about 300 uh, strategic airlift aircraft in the DOD inventory, but there are about 1,200 in the Civil Reserve Air Fleet. So we work with our carriers constantly, every day. And uh, likewise, on the sea lift side, we actually transport about 90% of what we ship is, goes by sea and land. And so we need to have our sea lift carriers. They're tremendously important in our partnerships as we work uh, in air, land, and sea. We don't do it alone. So that's the nature of what we do. And we try to make, because I'm used to slides being behind me, sorry, um, make intermodal choices. Um, for instance, Transcom's in the middle of this, trying to decide how to move things to Afghanistan, for instance. Last summer, before the uh, election, there had been a, a plus-up of about 30,000 troops in Afghanistan at that point. Uh, to bring up to about 60,000, and of course this summer we're moving up to 90,000, so we have a lot of work to do. But last summer, to try to get striker vehicles into Afghanistan before the elections, uh, we needed to move, move them from Washington State to Afghanistan. So you think, well, the fastest way would be to fly them. And if we tried to fly them all with our fleet and the only certain airplanes that could carry these big vehicles, uh, it would have taken about 120 days and about 170 million dollars to do that. But we figured out that, uh, you know what, a better choice is to sail them into the Indian Ocean, to Diego Garcia uh, Island there, and transload them to planes and then shuttle them 
into Afghanistan from there. And that way it would take 80 days and cost $67 million. So we could cut about $100 million off of uh, our move by using an intermodal choice. And we're trying to be better and better at making those intermodal choices. In fact, this summer we're going to create a f fusion center at Transportation Command and try to use information in a better way to make optimal decisions like that that saves taxpayer dollars and actually accelerates what we do. It's kind of counterintuitive to think that sailing something would actually be faster in the long run, but it is by uh, volume. So that the tortoise may be slower but can carry more <laughs> and, uh, and the hare can't carry as much. So uh, we try to make those choices. We need the information. We need to know where things are uh, to be able to make those good choices and to choose whether we go by land, sea, or air. And uh, that's what we do day in and day out. My counterparts in operations do that at any rate. Uh, our work is with the policy to try to make sure we get the policies right to enable this. And as is the case with uh, Admiral Harnacek uh, today out in the Caucasus, to try to work with our, our international neighbors and teammates in the State Department and Office of Secretary of Defense to make sure we're doing the right thing for the country and linking the operators with the policy, which is really hard to explain to your kids when they ask you what you do. But that's beside the point. Just the history of where we are, uh, I won't go through the whole line. The really pertinent information is in 2003, we got this authority, this responsibility to be the distribution process owner, which is basically to try to make good business processes work across the spectrum of those modes of transportation, uh, linking with our teammates at Defense Logistics Agency and the GSA as well to try to, to make the right choices, but yet not really owning everything. So we, we, by good business practices and persuasion and teamwork, we all work together to try to make things go forward. And uh, that's, we have to communicate across cultures and across processes, but it's, it's really coming along. And what, what helped uh, tremendously is in 2006 when we got the responsibility to bring AIT to the fore. And I think it's, it's really focusing what's possible and helping us make better choices and work together even better. And again, DLA has made great inroads. And we try to be a great supporters of, of them and their work as they decide where to stock things. And, how, and then we can determine how best to trans transport them. Um, but it, this is an evolution for us as well. Some, sometimes people have the impression that in military uh, structures, edicts can go out and then people change overnight just because. And yet, we're all human beings, and so human beings all have to adjust, see the possibilities, and find new ways to use this technology. And that's why uh, our team of champions are helping make this happen. And we're learning so often from our commercial partners uh, in the give and take. Uh, our General McNabb is our commander of Transportation Command, and he was just visiting Walmart on Tuesday. And we have a constant exchange of uh, information back and forth to try to... Uh, to learn from each other and move forward, just as, as you are today.